many people ask me the question, why does Almighty God want us to worship Him? Is He hungry of our worship? Why does He want us to praise Him? Allah Akbar, Allah is the greatest. Is Almighty God hungry for praises? Allah replies in the glorious Quran, in Surah Fatir, chapter number 35, verse number 15. O ye men, it is you who need Allah, and Allah is free of all wants, worthy of all praises. The Quran says in Surah Fatir, chapter 35, verse number 15, O ye men, it is you who need Allah. Allah is free of all wants and worthy of all praises. The reason why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to worship Him and to praise Him is not for His benefit. It is for our benefit. When we say Allah Akbar, He does not make Allah great. Allah is already the greatest, irrespective whether you say Allah Akbar or not. Allah will yet remain the greatest. It will make no difference to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But the reason Allah wants us to praise Him is because He knows the human psychology. We human beings, whenever we praise someone, whenever we know someone who's great and famous, we but natural tend to follow His advice. For example, if your mother has a heart attack and you have an option, there's a layman who comes and gives you advice. Will you follow his advice? or a person who you know is the best heart specialist in the world and he's willing to give you free advice. Whose advice will you take? Will you take the advice for your mother from the best heart specialist in the world or from a layman? But naturally, because you know the heart specialist is famous, people keep on praising him, you indirectly tend to follow his advice. Similarly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to praise Him. He is the greatest. Allah is the greatest. Allah is the most knowing. Allah is the most wise. So that the moment when we say He is the most wise, when He gives us the advice, we indirectly tend to follow it. If we don't agree He is most wise, most knowledgeable, then the chances we will follow it advice is less. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to worship Him and to praise Him, not so that it will benefit Him, but it will benefit us. Allah says in Surah Fatir, chapter 35, verse number 15, O ye men, it is you who need Allah. Allah is free of all wants, worthy of all praises. Let me give you an example. Suppose there's a couple who's married for several years and they don't have any children. But natural, most of such couples, they will feel sad. You have another couple who's married and they have a child. They bring him up with love and affection. After he reaches the age of 15 or 16, that child dies. But natural, these parents will be sad. The first group of couples who do not have any children, they'll feel sad. But the second group of parents who have children, and after they have brought them up, when they reach the teenage, and when they die, they will feel more sad. Now you have a third category of parents who have children, they bring them up with love and affection. They take care of them. But when they grow and they become an adult, they don't ask about their parents. They don't take care of their parents. What would you call such kind of children? Surely, you will call them inhuman, unjust, and ungrateful. All of us will agree that if your parents, they bring you up with love and affection, 
take care of you, give you all the facilities. Once you grow and become an adult, you don't even talk to them, you don't care about them, you don't even meet them. Surely, such children will be called unjust, ungrateful, and inhuman. If you agree with this point, imagine, what would you call those human beings who are ungrateful to the Creator? Our Creator, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Almighty God, has not only created you, He has even created your parents. So don't you think that we should thank our Creator, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Shouldn't we be obedient to Him? How many of us ever thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the bounties, for the blessings that He has bestowed upon us? How many of us? Almighty God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He has given us life. He has given us the blessings of this world, food, clothing, shelter. Can you imagine if you don't get water for a few days, but naturally you'll die? How many of us have ever thanked our Creator, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for the water He has provided us? Have you ever thought that the air we breathe, if we don't get this air for a few minutes, what will happen to us? But naturally we'll die. How many of us have ever thanked our Creator, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for the air He has provided us? Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Ibrahim, chapter number 14, verse number 34, if you count the favors of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you will not be able to number it. And man indeed is unjust and ungrateful. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Ayat, chapter number 100, verse number 6, Innal insana li rabbihi laqanood. Verily, human beings are to their Lord very ungrateful. Allah says this in several places, that verily, human beings to their Lord are very ungrateful. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to worship Him and to praise Him, not that it will benefit Him, because it will benefit us, benefit the human beings. Imagine when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes to know that after you have followed his advice, it's benefiting his creation, he feels happy. For example, if there's a doctor who's giving free treatment and free advice to the poor patients, imagine if that patient doesn't listen to the advice of the doctor, how will the doctor feel? And if you follow the advice of the doctor, it will not benefit the doctor. He's giving you free treatment. It will benefit you. And once you follow his advice, the doctor is happy. At least my patient has now become healthy. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is far superior than all the doctors in the world. It's mentioned who is Shafi. It is he who cures. So when you worship him, when you follow his advice, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is happy because the moment you praise him and you follow his advice, it benefits his creation. It benefits the human beings and it pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is not pleased when you worship him and praise him because it benefits him. He's pleased because it benefits the human beings, his creations.